Shabbos Kodesh Parshas Devorim Tavshinayim Ches five seven seven eight from your Shalai Mira Kodesh. You know, when a person when 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 you work with real estate, so you first have to have the 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 right buyer, the f- right person who's going to come move in to the property, and. Once you have the, the, the right buyer, you identify the right buyer, then you got to basically bring the buyer into the property, show him that it's for him. Once he's got the property, now you got to tell him, okay, here are the zoning laws for this particular property. I'm giving you a present, this property, here are the zoning laws. This is what you could do with it. And this is what you can't do with it. Once you do that, you say, okay, now go ahead. And this person goes and he's going to be living somewhere else in the meantime until this property is built, until he's taken home. That's what goes on. Sefer Beresh is, is where identif- Klai Yisrael, Hashem is identifying who He is going to give that property of His to. And He tells it out to Avraham Avinu. I'm going to give it to your children. In Sefer Shemais is where Hashem says, Okay, it's time to leave the to leave, start leaving Gullus. We're on our way towards this property. Eretz Yisrael. Sefer Vayikra says, "Okay, now that you come to Eretz Yisrael, there's going to be and in Beis Hamikdash. There's rules, carbonas, and all the halachas regarding the property, the zoning laws for the property which we're we're getting as a present." From Hashem. Sefer Bamidbar describes where the apartment building that we were living in temporarily till our house, our our castle was prepared. It's the Sefer the Golis. And starting Sefer Devarim is already the Sefer of where we're sitting at the border of Geula. We're at we're we're at the border of of Eretz Yisrael, and these are Moshe's parting words. Ela Hadavarim, these are the words Moshe Rabbeinu is sharing with us. And the pasuk tells us that everything Moshe gave over was from Hashem, and including the words of the Teichach and Kisava and the Musar and Parshas Dvar. All of it came from Hashem, says the Chazal in the Medrash. That Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to part from Klal Yisrael with a message of Musr. That wasn't what he what he intended. He only did it after Hashem told him that this is how he has to do it. From here we learn a Gavaldic lesson. We learn something unbelievable in the way Torah has to be taught. You see, with secular subjects, you give over the information and there's no neshama involved. That's two plus two equals four, whether you understand it or you don't. When it comes to Yiddishkeit, we have something called the Yerushamayim. We have a Rebbeinu Shalom involved. We have the fear of heaven. We have a Rebbeinu Shalom that, that even if we can't see him and we don't understand logically the whole picture, we, we still have to know it. We still have to understand it. We still have to work to achieve to get to understand it. And we only do whatever we're doing is because Hashem said this is what to do. That's what we learn from here, and Moshe Rabbeinu did not, like, like we said, Moshe Rabbeinu did not want to, did not want to, to yell and 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 call you so and give them musr, you know, because he was scared. He they wouldn't listen to what he had to say. But Hashem told him he has to do so because that really is the essence of Torah. The Torah can only be really accepted with a proper amount of musr, the salt and pepper. To go along with the with the steak, you see, accepting musr can sometimes be difficult. It can be hard. 
However, the guy who goes to the gym and lifts up the weights that are very easy for him without putting any strain, he's not going to be building any muscle. It's, he's wasting his time. When he lifts up something just heavy and it's just a rah, that's when he's lifting the right amount of weights to build his muscle. If it's too easy, you're not building anything. You're not getting stronger. The right dose of Musser, now that's important, the right dose of Musser can build a person and make them stronger. Too much, too, too heavy of a dose is, is, is not good either. Sifri explains the words on the Pasuk to all of Kla Yisrael. Right? Hashem, Maisha Rabbeinu spoke to all Kla Yisrael. This is to mean that they were a- all able to, to accept the Musr. See, if we want to reach new heights and ensure that our children would carry on the Messiah of our other, of our earlier generations if we want to pass on that Messiah then we must realize that both of these goals can only be achieved by learning again an appropriate amount of Musr not listening to Musr when it's being given we not only deprive ourselves of our precious Messiah but deny our children their own future Thank you so much for listening. Have a Hila Gazisa Shabbos. As always, any questions, comments, or feedback, you can leave them in the comment section below.